Hello everyone, Fragger here for the next episode of Retroactive. The series where we completely skip the intro because this is going to be a big one. That's right boys and girls, the one most of you have been waiting for, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is a game that was developed and published by Square in September of 2002. You play as Sora, the Keyblade Master, who wields said Keyblade to stop all of the Heartless from taking over all of the worlds and plunging the world into darkness. But the main character, joined by Donald and Goofy, have to hop from Disney World to Disney World, making sure to close the keyhole of the planet so that it cannot be consumed by the Heartless. Pretty much it's just hopping from Disney World to Disney World to Disney World while you fly on your gummy ship in between them. Each of those worlds are a fun little exercise ranging from the woods from Tarzan to Agrabah to the Hungry Acre Wood from Winnie the Pooh and they're all fantastic. And they all do a really good job of having the correct voices from the Disney films and in essence being a great little time. And it's also fun to go to places like Halloween Town and then you, all your characters change their appearance to fit in and that's a neat little touch and I actually quite like that quite a bit. And that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of this game. I don't want to get into too much on this because as I usually say, if you haven't played this game before, I don't want to be the dick to spoil it for you because I would be a dick. Well, more of one than I currently am. The actual gameplay, if you can't tell from the scenes that you're currently looking at, is kind of an action RPG fair where you're hitting attack a lot shooting magics at people and doing things along those lines and it's fairly deep it's got some issues that if this game were to be really re released i hope they'd be fixed but i'm not here to talk about that just yet but in the end it does this great job of being serviceable and doing its job quite well this is more of a game where the story shines in the end so good times good times but you know obviously it could be just a little bit better and in later games it is i could honestly dig deeper into the story the characters and all the other things but the problem with doing that is, is that then we start getting super duper spoily, and we also start going into some of the weird things in this game, like David Boreanaz playing Squall. That's weird. But I guess it's time for me to honestly talk about what I would like to see done with this specific game. Now, since this is an active series, and since there's been five sequels and a prequel from this game, it honestly doesn't need another sequel yet. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3 is obviously going to happen at some point, but neither here nor there. But I would honestly like to see this game remade. There is some behind the scenes kind of issues with this game, primarily with the way that combat is handled and the camera. I hate the way the camera is handled in this group. Which would be awesome if they could fix all of that stuff from this game. Make the combat more like the combat Kingdom Hearts 2 would make this game phenomenal. And since this is a multi-platform game at this point, it has appeared both on Nintendo consoles and on Sony consoles. I would love to see the original game released for all modern systems. It would be nice to be able to play this game in HD, looking nice, HD-ified. Fuck it, give us the final mix in HD. That's never been fucking released in the US, so who the fuck knows? Maybe we'll get that at some point. Currently, the only way to play Kingdom Hearts right now is to have a PS2 or a PS2-compatible PlayStation 3 because it's not available on the PSN, so sorry about that, guys. But I would love to, as I said in the previous part, I would love to see this so that people can actually fucking play it these days because it's getting harder to play PS2 games. But that's going to do it for us this week, and we'll see you guys next time.